Okay, so we're just on cyclingnews.com. We're gonna. I was on this new tarmac. We're gonna go to the new Alberto Contador spotted on the new Amonda, a 2018 Amonda. I think the Amonda came out in 2014, if I remember correctly. Let's have a look here. We've got this new UCI approved frame set. Last December, notably sits along with this thing. Okay, let's have a look. Zoom in on this one here. We're gonna zoom in on here. So the integrated carbon stem, I don't like that. I don't like that. You can, can't even angle your stem or your bars. It's very fixed. I think that's a bit wanky. Uh, I'm a fan of Trek product. I've had a lot of Trek bikes in the last 20 years. I am a fan. I like the lifetime warranty, but I find this cockpit, I mean, if you like it, you like it. It's your bike, your choice, but I find it a bit wanky and unnecessary. Um, so we've changed the chain stays with dropouts. Got the new Duras and the old style SRM crank. I could just put a stages power meter on there, save a bit of weight. Similar geometry, oversized carbon tubing. It looks almost identical to the previous Amonda, which I have ridden. I found it's, it's a nice frame. It's a comfortable frame. I like the tire clearance. I like the weight, but it is flexy. It is a Amonda Flex. It's Flex City. And uh, he's on the old the old style crank set. The uh, Those bottle cages I've had there are not too bad. And... Uh, Direct mount brakes, I like that. More power, better clearance. That gives a thumbs up for me. Gives a thumbs up for me. That bar tape's wrapped nice. I need to, to I need to, I need someone to wrap my bar tape like that. Um, what's it, what's happening out here? The, he's holding it inside the car. He's about to run over that box. I hope, I hope this is like just a, a prank picture. But that is interesting. So what is the 2018th, low, next month at the Tour de France? Tour de France. The 2014 Amonda, 690 grams, less than a bidden full of water. That's going to crack as soon as you drop that bad boy at the cafe. That's going to split in half. But the good thing about carbon bikes is you can get them fixed. You can get them fixed. So uh, interesting stuff. So that's just full specs there. We've got some comments, got some shares. That's the new Amonda. Am I a fan? Uh, I have to have it right on it. But I am a fan of some Trek product. I do like this bike. What I like about it, uh, I like the direct mount brakes. I like that. I like the tire clearance. I don't like these wanky handlebars. I do like the colors, the paint jobs. I do like the Shimano, full Shimano group set. I do like how Trek have used Shimano's brakes versus making their own version, which are generally, in my experience, poor quality and don't offer sufficient braking if using carbon rims, etc. The bottle cage is good. The cranks, the yep, all that stuff. The saddle, I don't like the Serrano, but that's personal preference. That's personal preference. Uh, I love the paint jobs from Trek. Anyway, that's the pros and cons. I like the lifetime warranty as well. The price tags are pretty hefty for what they are. But the, for me, the best bike that Trek make that I've ridden would be the Alloy Trek Monda ALR series. Fantastic value. And I actually bought one myself. I liked it that much. Fantastic bike. Or followed by the Trek 1.1. It, it beats the, the, the aluminium bikes, in my opinion, beat all their carbon bikes in terms of stiffness and acceleration. And the comfort's pretty good as well. The Demana SLR is actually a pretty nice bike, very comfortable. But the the Amanda of 28 mil tires, mm, beautiful. The ALR, fantastic. Comments, questions down below. What bike next? Should we have a little scan? Pros and cons. Let us know down below. We'll see you soon and say good to your mum. She just texted me. Then she's on the phone now. All right, I'm I'm out five minutes away. Yeah, I'm just talking to your son right now. All right, see you soon.